As October winds down, Brits prepare for the seasonal clock change when, at 2 a.m. on the last Sunday, clocks fall back one hour. This marks the end of British summertime, giving us an extra hour of sleep. A welcome treat for most, but not always practical for those on night shifts, as their hours drag on. This tradition, though convenient to some, has sparked curiosity and debate over the years. So why exactly do we adjust our clocks, and is it still relevant today? Daylight saving time, that is DST, in the UK, dates back to 1916, initiated by the Summertime Act. The concept arose thanks to William Willett, a builder who felt we were missing out on daylight hours. His proposal during World War I aimed to save fuel by synchronizing people's waking hours with natural daylight, reducing the need for artificial lighting. Willett suggested moving clocks back by 80 minutes in 20-minute weekly intervals, but a simpler one-hour change took precedence. The rationale for daylight saving shifts has varied over time. Proponents of DST argue that it optimizes daylight, enhancing productivity in the morning. This seems plausible at first glance, yet studies show the benefits may be overestimated. For instance, people often experience a 20% dip in productivity over the summer despite the additional daylight, suggesting that energy conservation isn't as effective as once thought. Critics point out the potential health impacts of altering sleep patterns. Our bodies naturally align with day and night cycles, and even a small adjustment can disrupt sleep, mood, and focus. Research links DSSNT with higher rates of heart attacks, strokes, and even road accidents following the spring forward shift in March. Still, the debate continues. In 2019, the European Parliament passed legislation to let member countries decide whether to keep DST or follow standard time year-round. Although the UK no longer follows EU decisions, it hasn't signaled any plans to abandon DST. Advocates for permanent standard time argue it provides consistency and minimizes disruptions, while some support year-round daylight saving for the extra evening light. However, for now, the annual clock changes persist. So while some might relish the extra hour this October, others may question whether this century-old practice should be reconsidered. With sleep, productivity, and even health on the line, daylight saving remains an ongoing topic of interest and debate across the UK and beyond. Stay subscribed for more videos.